Streets of San Francisco. A Quinn Martin production. Starring Carl Malden. Also starring Michael Douglas. With guest stars David Soule, A. Martinez. Tonight's episode, Hall of Mirrors. ¿Sabe usted quién es? Sí, se llama José Seo. Officer Ruiz. Get me homicide. I just keep thinking all these terrible things. He's 78 years old, and he's never been gone all night before. In the 50 years we've been married. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Inspector Martin. I don't mean to keep going to pieces like this. It's all right, Mrs. Elliot. We're here to help. You've already helped, just listening. We'll be looking, too. Now, I'm sure everything will be all right. Someone will call you the moment we hear anything. Bless you. I won't be keeping you anymore. I'll show you the way out. Oh, I I'll, I'll find it all right. Uh, oh, dear. Well, what is it? My bus fare. I don't have it. Oh, well, here. Here, I do. Oh, no, no. No, 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 please, take it. That's all right. Oh, are you sure? Oh, thank you again, Inspector. Oh. Oh. Morning, Lieutenant. What did you give her? Just bus fare. A fin? Well, uh, her husband's been missing all night. He's 78. 78 years old and never been gone all night before. Not in the 50 years that they've been married. Welcome to the club, kid. You mean that whole number was a put on? The bus she's gonna get on that five bucks is gonna keep her in the tank for the rest of the week. <laughs> Where's Keller? <laughs> well, I tried reaching him at home like you asked, but... I know, he's got his own night shift going. Uh, you, grab a coat. Me? Yeah, you. Aren't you the guy that was squawking? You've been here for five days and haven't seen any action? Well, now you've got it. What happened? Shooting down in the produce market. It's in the Mission District, isn't it? On the edge of it, yeah. Look, if this is going to run into much time, maybe you better take somebody else. I've got a stack of reports here that I, I promised to see you and I get out today. Reports can wait. The body can't. Now move it. No description, Lieutenant. He only saw the men from the rear. Well, what do you think, Ruiz? Well, he's a stubborn guy, but uh, I think he's telling the truth. He says he saw three guys leaving at, uh, what's this, 4.30? Right. And he found the body at 7. Well, most of the farm trucks have left by then. Uh, he and Zale always grab a cup of coffee about that time. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
He didn't hear any shooting? Uh -uh. Too many trucks, too much noise. But he remembers seeing three guys filing into a small, light-colored car. What did they get? Well, uh, he says a bundle. Well, what's a bundle? Well, every Thursday afternoon, uh, Zale uh, gets a big shipment of uh, artichokes from Castroville. Uh, he pays the growers off in cash, maybe a couple of grand. Every Thursday. Anybody else know about that? Senor Gomez, ¿quién más sabía del dinero? Pues te digo la verdad, no soy seguro. A lo mejor un señor mexicano que le ayudaba. You got a helper. Mexican. ¿Cómo se llama? Rafael Díaz. Se renunció hace un par de meses. That's it. Mexican quit a couple of months ago. Came back and took what he never earned in his life. Ask him if he thinks one of those three guys could have been this um, Rafael Díaz. Señor, pudiera ser uh, Rafael Díaz, uno de los tres hombres que se vio. Uno de los tres? Pues, sí, puede ser. Es posible. You got that? Why don't you ask him where he lives? Spanish, you handle it pretty good. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I had a couple of years in high school. I don't remember seeing that on your 201 when it came across my desk. I don't know that much. It's more than I know. Si, sí, gracias, and mucho gracias. That's about my extent. <laughs> for a Rafael Diaz. Is it all right if I come in? He's not here. Well, I can get a warrant if that's what you want. Are you Mrs. Diaz? Miss. Rafael is my brother. But you two live here alone? We live with my father. He's gone to work. I've told you, my brother is not here. Now... I'm asking him. That's the answer, man. All morning I've been here. Watch your mouth, punk. Siquiera tengo boca, te diré lo que parece la tuya, anglo puerco. Let's go. Oh, 
Get him. We had him. Just can't trust you, Laura, anymore, can I, huh? Where were you all morning? One morning without me and you break your ankle. Don't you ever answer the phone? Not when it's in the refrigerator, no. In the refrigerator. How bad is it? Bad enough. All right, give me the bad news. Who do I report to? What's the matter? You figure you still need a babysitter? You really want me to handle it, Mike? No. No, what I really want is for the killer to get away. I just meant thank you. Can I take Martin on with me? I don't know. Oh, he's kind of green. You mean I wasn't when you first broke me in? I had 24 years when I took you on. You had two. That's two with you. You always said that was worth 10 with anybody else. Trapped by the truth. Give me the sticks. Take it easy, easy. Come on. Open the door. Wider, wider. You know, I wasn't expecting any undying gratitude, but couldn't you be a little happier? Happier? Yeah. You could be bored out of your skull typing reports. <laughs> Sorry. Busy boy, Diaz. Grand Theft Auto 14, Juvenile Hall, six months. Shoplifting, age 16, case dismissed when store decided not to prosecute. Assault and battery, still 16. Another hitch in juvie, four months. Purse snatching. Age 17, dismissed. Must have spooked the witness. Possession of marijuana, 
Suspended sentence. Turned 18 last month. It's the best thing that ever happened to this city, that last birthday. Maybe now we can put him where he belongs. You don't think we ought to give him a trial? You heard his track record. Well, I didn't hear anything about murder. You will. And that's one report I won't mind typing. Came by. What can I pour you? Well, so how about a buttermilk? <laughs> sure, I'll try just about anything once. Two? No. Thank you. Rafael Diaz, where do we find him? Diaz. Yeah, hey, you got it. D I A Z. Somebody say I uh, know him? Well, he used to work across the street, Mr. Loza, for Joseph Zale. And we heard that some of the guys at the market used to come over here after their shift. Possibly. No possible, Loza. Definitely. Todos los días aquí. Now, where do we find him? Excuse me, uh, I have some other business. He has killed a man this morning. If you don't cover for him, we'll have your license lifted so fast. Yeah. Each other. Who's they? Buttermilk's on the house. talking to you. Look, if you got personal feelings about something, maybe you don't belong on this job. Yeah, I got personal feelings. I saw that old guy they covered up with a sheet this morning. I saw what 338 slugs can do to somebody point blank. That's not what I'm talking about, and you know it. Okay, I know it. And maybe I know more than you. I've seen that hat dance before. I grew up with guys like that, Steve. I've seen them operate all my life. They only sit up and speak on one cue. Well, I'm going to give you a cue right now. You just cool it. You come on one more time like that, and I'm going to be writing a report it's yours. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, man. Listen, fella, never mind about the ankle. It'll be all right. Just give me a couple of weeks. Just five days. That's... Listen, I call... Has Steve come in yet? Hasn't he phoned? What's that? I know all about the APB on Diaz. Why don't you give me something new? Uh-huh. Well, has he checked the bar, Loza's bar? Just a minute! You say there's trouble? What? Did Steve handle it all right? Oh, listen, there's someone at my front door. I'll call you back. Coming, coming! on those crutches didn't fit your image. It'll come in handy, you know. <laughs> Mark and I can try one more lead before we call it a day. Yeah, you want me to turn that off? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Something we scrounged up out of Diaz's probation report. A pool hall. Well, you didn't have to come around at all if you didn't feel like it. Well, you know? I just figured you'd be calling every five minutes wanting to know where we are, what are we're doing. Are you kidding? What would I call in for? It's your case. <laughs> I'm relaxing, taking it easy, reading, watching TV. How's it going? It's not. I got nothing, Mike. Diaz has been reported as far south as Candlestick Park and as far north as Sausalito. I think he's still in the Mission District. I agree. Anyone ask you to take you in the bar? The bar? Yeah, you know the one across from the produce market? Yeah, I know What's the What's the name? The... Loses. Loses, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we checked it out. And? Well, you know how people are, Mike. Sometimes they're not that anxious to help. You, know, you got to kind of ease the information out of them. Well? Martin got impatient. And he came on too hard. The guy clammed up means another trip back there. Martin's okay. I think he'll be a good cop. He's, just like you said, he's a little bit green. It's your case. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, did uh, Hasijian tell you that I ordered a 24-hour surveillance on the docks? Yeah, smart thinking. I knew it. I just... You've been checking it every five minutes, haven't you? So I called in. I was curious. Sure you were. Don't make a big deal about it. I'm still your baby. Sure it is. And you're still the babysitter. I'll see you later, Mike. Looking spot. Now, what'd you expect? Look, will you just play cool this time? Or what? Or you're gonna get your head handed to you by Mike Stone. Oh, did he write the book? You better believe it. <laughs> Mr. Candoni, I'm Inspector Keller, it's Inspector Martin. You know a Ravael Diaz? Diaz. Mm -hmm. Diaz. Diaz. Is that him? Yeah. Yeah, I think I know him. I mean, you know, he comes in here once in a while for a game. Well, has he been in tonight? Tonight. Tonight. No. No, not for a couple of weeks, maybe. Thank you. You. We're looking for Rafael Diaz. You know him? Hey, I'm talking to you. Some English, hombre. Well, maybe you better learn. When was the last time you saw Diaz? El papel está malo. Ah, pues, algo los puerco, no? Hands against the wall, feet apart. Everybody else, just relax. Relax. We run him in. Come on, man. I ain't done nothing. Well, come on, Mister. Tell him. You come here looking for some money named Diaz. That ain't my fault. I don't know him. We can hold him long enough to run a make. Who knows? Forty-eight hours in the slammer might bring back his memory. Hey, wait a minute. Just wait a minute, okay? Maybe I do know him. But so does Candoli. He was letting him stay here, it ain't my fault. Wait a minute, I, I remember now. He was here when I came in. He asked me for money, I told him, no way. When was that? Just before you got here. He took off then. But I didn't help him, man, I didn't help him at all. Come on, what about me, huh? I didn't do nothing. Throw you in the back seat of Kando, hey. side by side, you judges. say Martin roughed him? Well, he didn't rough him, but he, uh, he sort of handled him anyway. You see, Campos made some kind of crack in Spanish and... Like Diaz in the apartment. Yep. Steve, listen. 
Did Martin lean on anybody whose name wasn't like Diaz, Campos, Loza? No. You sure? Yeah. Uh, sorry I woke you up. You woke me up? I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Mike. Could I have the telephone number, please, of the bus depot? No, the main one downtown. Mrs. Martin? Martinez. Uh, Lieutenant Stone, San Francisco Police. Uh, could I talk to you for a minute, please? What about? Your son. Please come in. Mind if I unbutton my sweater? No, a little warmer here than in your San Francisco, huh? Yes, but it's just what the doctor ordered. So, uh, my son is truly no in trouble. No, but uh, Mrs. Martinez, do you know what your son gave the police personnel officer about his family background? Father, Henry Martin, deceased. Mother, Mary F. Martin. I was wondering, is it Mary or Maria? Maria. Maria Pomposa Fuentes Martinez. And your husband, Henry? Enrique. Don't you think the information was designed to, well, to disguise the fact that your son is a Mexican-American? That is what he wanted. Why? You would not understand. Try me. It's no one thing. Just living here like this, and knowing people who do less have more because they are Anglo, and watching his father spend his whole life being humiliated by weaker men, watching him die broken and defeated, and losing all respect for him because of it. And then, when he went to college in San Jose, I changed his name. No more Jaime, James, and not Martinez, Martin. You did that? I want my son to have a chance at something good now. But he does have, at least I think so. He has a chance to be a good cop. But he has to accept people for what they are. And he can't do that if he doesn't accept himself first. A wetback, a picker, a mex, a greaser. That is what my son has been called all his life. Is that what he should accept, Mr. Stone? But your son wants to be a policeman. And uh, a cop's life is, uh, is like... Well, it's not easy, especially today. A cop's life is like, uh, like, 
looking down a long hall of mirrors. Every case shows him another part of himself. And if he hates what he's looking at, he can't do his job. You know, I think that your son and I are very much alike right now. We both have our handicaps, our burdens. Yes, but yours will come off, Mr. Stone. It is only plaster. But if, if you are right, and if what I do is wrong, My son could be crippled forever. Can you help him? I'll try, Mrs. Martinez. Gracias. I'll try. Gracias. I thought I'd try a little replay on that buttermilk. Just getting a taste for it. Where's the uh, stormtrooper? <laughs> I left him out in the car. Didn't want you to shortchange me, you know what I mean? He's a hard nose. You know that? No. No, he's not. He's just newer than me, if you can believe that. Okay, he's new, and he's a hard nose. Did you find your guy? Diaz, no. Tough. Joe was a good guy. I was sorry he got it. Used to come in here once in a while. Diaz. Diaz and a couple of his friends. You know their names? Mm -mm. They weren't uh, market guys. Well, you know what they looked like? No, not really. Hey, wait a minute. There is something else. One of the guys drove a, a tow truck. Central, Central uh, Salvage. I remember because he parked in the alleyway once, locked the beer truck, and I said, hey, man, you gotta get that truck out of there. Mr. Loza, thank you. Hey, you forgot your... Change. You haven't seen him recently, huh? No. Nope. Well, not for a couple weeks, anyway. But we heard about the old man that Diaz worked for. Is that why you're looking for Diaz? You any of his friends? No way. How about you? Oh, me and I hardly knew the kid. He's one of Clark's buddies, not mine. Uh, he's not a buddy, man. He's just a guy I met towing jobs around the market. Beautiful car you got here. It ain't his, it's ours, man. We both kicked in. It's nice. Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys. Sure, have a nice day. Later, babe. Zero. You got zero, pal. I don't know about that. DS plus two equals three. Did you get a make on that license plate? Plates? Didn't have any plates. Right. Just a dealer's name. Who's here? You just couldn't stay away, could you? Like they say, it gets in the blood. Sure it does, just like the virus. Anything new? Let you know after I make a phone call. Oh, Jim. Can I see you for a minute? Sure. How are you feeling? Uh, good enough to uh, go on duty, I think. Meaning you're taking me off the case? Well, I've got all the reports here, and maybe we ought to... You've been talking to Steve. That's got nothing to do with Steve. 
The assignment was only for the time I was out. And it's Diaz. You're still blaming me for his getting away. No, I'm not blaming you for anything. It's just that I'm concerned. I'm concerned about some of your attitudes and, um... Well, I think that maybe we ought to have a talk about them. And soon. Now, you go back to Hasidian in the morning and, uh... We'll talk about it in the afternoon, okay? Okay! Lieutenant. What's with him? Well, I, I just took him off the case. Get your call through? Yeah. Yeah, we got the jackpot, Mike. I called that car dealer. Johnson and Clark put down 1,300 bucks cash, plus the trade-in on their 62 Volks. Guess what color the Volks is? Just a hunch. Light colored. Beige. And you remember how much Joe Zale carried with him every Thursday? 2,000? Right. And two-thirds of that is 1,300 plus some change. And I figured Diaz for another third? 2,000? Right. Buddy boy, you stick with me and you're gonna make it. <laughs> Campos. I do not know any Campos. Rafael does. Uh, she asked me for some bread last night at the pool hall. Is he there? No. Well, she uh, said it was really important, you know. That's why I called. She did me a favor once, so you should tell him I don't want no trouble. But I'll be at the old church on 23rd Street tonight at 10 o'clock. Okay? Uh, but maybe he will not call. Maybe I cannot get the message to him in time. You should tell him, lady. Campus, the old church, 10 o'clock. <laughs> How many times I got to tell you I save that money? You're a part-time driver, Johnson. You make $68.50 a week and you never had a savings account in your life. All right, then, dude. I want it in a card game. Why don't you go ahead and tell him, Clark? Tell the man, would you? Yeah, right, man. Yeah, I remember. Is that right? Where'd you get the other six fifty from, huh? Six fifty, man. I don't have no six hundred. That's right. Joe Zale carried two thousand bucks for his drivers that night. Two of you got the information from Diaz and you figured it was an easy setup. Now, isn't that right? Oh, come on. No, man. You're crazy. Who was driving the VW that night? You or Clark? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a VW. Not now, you don't. It helped pay for this car, along with most of that two grand. How much Diaz get, huh? You don't have to tell him anything. You don't have to tell him nothing. Why don't you don't just tell him? You're just in this thing as deep as I am. Get on right here. Six, six fifty. Diaz is cut. All right, all right. It was his job, man. Diaz, right? I mean, there wasn't supposed to be no shooting. That's right. <laughs> That's right, man. Diaz was supposed to stay outside, you know. But then the old man started shoving back, so Diaz ran in. He grabbed Johnson's gun, and, and, he, and he was the guy that hit the old dude. I mean, all we did was just haul Diaz out of there and drop him off. I mean, nobody, but nobody was supposed to get hit. That's right. He's telling you, man. He's that. That's the truth. He's laying on you. Right now, I'm going to lay the truth on both. of you. Mike, read it to me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish one. Liars! They are trying to blame Rafi for what they did. Rafi 
is not a bad boy. Miss Diaz Johnson and Clark have signed statements that Rafael... It is not true! And the only person that can prove that is your brother. We'll catch him sooner or later, Miss Diaz. I don't know anything. That's a lie, girl, isn't it? I heard you talking to Rafael on the telephone. Don't you shame me, too. You will tell the police everything you know about Rafael, and you will tell them now. A man named Campos called a couple of hours ago. He has money for Rafael. They, they are going to meet at the old church on 23rd Street at 10 o'clock tonight. I thought you said Campos was in jail. He is. There's no way. You think Martin? Please, senor. You promised Rafael will not be hurt. Well, maybe you'd better light candles. Yes. Point blank, Diaz. That's how you gave it to the old man at that market. That's how you don't miss. Point blank. Did you get a good look at what you did to him, Picker? Hey, man, take it easy. Shoot, man, shoot. But, like, what are you doing? I mean, are you gonna take me in or what? I said shot! Gaiety! You got it now? You looking for a way out? There's a door open behind me. Hey, man, no. Run! At least you know how to do that. Please, man, listen. I'll tell you everything. You take me in, I'll tell you. I swear, man. I said run! Don't crawl! No, man, please. Please, man. Come on, hombre, por amor de Dios, no quiero morir. Damn it, don't crawl! Be a man, not a cobarde chicano! Oh, you're the man, huh? All right, man. Shoot me. Come on, I'm asking you for a stinking trial. You say you're the stinking judge. All right, be the executioner, man. Shoot me. Jim? You're dirt. You're nothing but dirt. Put it away, Jim. He's guilty! We'll find that out. I know. He was born guilty. 
Of what, Jaime? Being the same as you? I've been to Salinas, Jim. I met a wonderful woman there. She asked me to help her undo what she's afraid she did to her son. I told her I'd try to talk to him if it wasn't too late. Are we talking, Jim? Oh, I've already got one. Why don't you read him his rights? silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish one. scouting. Looking for a Chicano All-American? I think we found him. When is he coming back? <laughs> when he gets his head together. Hey! Hold this, will you? Hey, come on. Come on. <laughs> right, right, come on. Come on. Who wants to go down? Come on. Come on. Why are you? Why? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get over there. Come on. 